And now this, Italian police say one of the two 19-year-old American tourists allegedly involved in the fatal stabbing of an Italian paramilitary policeman has confessed. Kitty Logan is reporting from our London bureau. Kitty, what's the latest? Hi, Jillian. So what we're hearing from police in Italy is that two American students are being formally held in custody while this murder case is being further investigated. What we saw today was one of the suspects was driven away in a convoy of police vehicles from a Rome police station. That happened earlier today after a detention hearing. Now, Italian media claims that one of the suspects, thought to be 19 years old, has confessed to the murder, although I must add that those reports are not officially confirmed. Confirmed. A lawyer for one of the accused says that his client refused to answer questions during today's hearing. Now, this suspect is allegedly uh, accused of fatally stabbing an, um, an Italian policeman who was supposedly trying to arrest people stealing a bag from a passerby on Friday morning after a drug deal apparently went wrong. Now, a second officer was injured in this incident. It happened in an area popular with tourists. The suspects, or the suspect, was apparently identified on surveillance cameras. And according to some of the reports we're hearing, a knife was allegedly discovered in a hotel room that the students were occupying. Now, police murders are very rare in Italy. This killing has shocked the country. We're seeing many floral tributes to that murdered policeman. The investigation is continuing, of course, while the suspects remain in detention. It is understood that these two suspects apparently had tickets back to California today. Of course, that return home is being delayed. We understand that from the court proceedings in Italy that the suspects can be held in custody for up to three days before charges are made. Jillian. Okay, still a lot of questions there. Katie Logan, keep us updated. Thank you.